Hello there, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Today I'm wearing a very cool t-shirt from Luciana Klein. Not sure if you can see this or not. This particular t-shirt she got because she was celebrating her 10th anniversary of having a blog. Congratulations to Luciana. Thank you so much for this t-shirt. I got to see her a couple weeks ago at AU Brazil. And to you, I just want to say, muito legal, right? <laughs> okay, so but let's get down to business. So today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make bubbles, right? How to put circles basically around your text. I'm going to show you two different ways. We'll show you how to do it with end leaders and I'm also going to show you how to do it with a really nifty express tool so you can take your pick. All right. So let's start off with end leaders. So I'm going to go to the annotate tab on the ribbon and I'm going to click on this arrow down here because the first thing that we need to do is create a style that supports bubbles, right? So I'm going to make a new style. Let's go ahead and just call it bubble. Easy enough. And the key here is to go to the very last tab where it says content because this is where I'm going to tell it what type of multi-leader I want to use and I want it to use a block. Now one of the great things about AutoCAD is it comes with quite a few blocks that we can use including a fabulous circle one. You can take your pick. You can even use your own custom block if you want. But I'm very lazy. I'm going to pick circle and it comes with an attribute in the middle of it which is exactly what I want because I probably want some number right in the middle of my bubble or something along those lines. All right, so I'm going to say an OK. It does make it my current multi-leader multi style, right? So I'm going to say close. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put a multi-leader on the screen. I'll just put it right about there. All it wants to know really is what number do I want in there? I'll just put the big old number one. And if I zoom in, you'll see fabulous. There it is. And you can, of course, control all the other different aspects of the multi-leader. But you can see how easy that was, right? So I can use that style anytime I need to have bubbles. All right, let's go about this slightly different approach. I happen to have some numbers hiding somewhere in here. There they are. These are a little bit bigger than my, my other ones. And I just want to put some circles around those. This cool express tool called T-Circle. I'm going to go ahead and grab it from the ribbon, though, like a good girl. Right here, and close in object. T-Circle. Oh, that's easy. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then it just wants me to pick one or more objects that I want to enclose, in this case, with a circle. So I like this one because I can be really lazy. I can pick a whole bunch of objects at one time. And then it wants to know what that offset factor is, okay? How big do you want those circles to be, basically offset from the number? I'm just going to leave it as it is. You, and you can pick from circles or from slots or from rectangles. So once again, I'm going to use circles because I want a bubble, but you could choose whatever you wanted. And then last but not least, you know, if, if you have a longer number, do you want the circle to be bigger? Or do you want the circle to be a constant size? So I'm going to stick with constant, but variable would adapt for the number, for the, the quantity of the numbers or the size of the numbers or whatever the situation is of the objects that go inside of the bubbles. All right, I'm going to leave it at constant. And there we go. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So there's two different ways to create bubbles inside of AutoCAD, either with two circles or by using the multi-leader command and setting a style. All right, so on that note, thank you so much for joining me and I'm gonna see you back here in two more weeks. And one more congratulations to Luciana.